Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about library function. We will also talk about how we can add our custom functions to the pre-existing library files. And at the end, we will talk about how we can create our own personal library files. So let's begin. A library file has pre-compiled code of implementation of our functions, right? So there are various libraries present. For example, there are studio library, maths library and other libraries also. Okay. Now let's say I want to add this function definition to our existing library. Okay. The definition of this function should be including of in our existing library. Now. First of all, we will create a file and give it some name. Okay, let's say the name is fact.c. Right, then I will write the definition of our function. Okay, so here it is written the definition of our factorial function. Right, it calculates the factorial of the given number here and return as the final value. Okay, after that, what I will do, I will compile this code. Okay, after compilation, it will create a file with the name fact.obj note that i have not written any main function here and also no prototype is given here after that we will use a utility of turbo c compiler which is the tlib which is used to manipulate our library files now in the command line what i will write tlib then the existing library let's say the library is maths.lib and what i want to do i want to add the object code of this file or to this file right then i will write here plus since we are adding the contents then the name of this file which is fact.obj now the object code for this file has been included to our maths library right note that this is according to the turbo c compilers different compilers uses the different functionality to add object file to the existing libraries okay so this is according to the turbo c compiler now our code our compiled code has been added to a, to this library right so the definition is now present in the maths library and now i have to also write its prototype for prototype i will create another file let's say the name of the file is fact.h right and inside it i'll write the prototype something like this int fact and inside it integer that's all okay so prototype is defined in this file and the definition is compiled and added to the maths library okay now let's say i want to use this functionality what will i do i will create a file a simple program file let's say abc.c then i'll write hash include studio.h and then hash include now, which header file I should include? Fact.h. Okay. Fact.h. Why? Because we will be using the fact function later in the program. So, we have to include its prototype and the prototype is written in the fact.h header file. Okay. Note that here I am using double quotes. Why? Because this is the custom header file. Okay. The standard header files are written in these less than and greater than symbol and the custom header files are written in the double quotes okay we can also specify path here let's say path something could be like c inside there could be fact dot h then i'll write here just we do in simple programming word mean now i will write int a variable let's say the name of our variable is num okay and then let's say i want to find the factorial of 5 then what i will do num equals to fact 5 right and then after that i will write here printf of percent d and then num okay that's all so the prototype of our function is defined in this file right and we are calling it from here after the compilation of this file another file with the name abc.object is created okay the extension may vary according to the compiler Right, and what will happen after that? Our linker will link all the library files 
एंड देन क्रिएट ए एग्जीक्यूटेबल फाइल ओके सो वेन इट इज लिंकिंग इट विल ऑल्सो लिंक आर मैथ्स डॉट लिप फाइल ओके विच हैज डेफिनेशन ऑफ आर फैक्ट फंक्शन ओके एंड देन आफ्टर दैट वी एग्जीक्यूट दिस प्रोग्राम राइट एंड वेन वी विल एग्जीक्यूट दिस प्रोग्राम ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइम वी विल ऑल्सो हैव द प्रोटोटाइप इट्स कॉलिंग एंड इट्स डेफिनेशन राइट एंड देन इट विल गिव अस आउटपुट एज दन ट्वेंटी अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस लाइन ओके सो बेसिकली दिस फंक्शन हैज बिकम नाउ आर लाइब्रेरी फंक्शन लाइब्रेरी फंक्शन बिकॉज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस फंक्शन इज रिसाइडिंग नाउ इन वन ऑफ द लाइब्रेरीज ओके नाउ एन एदर रिजेम्बलेंस यू कैन सी हेयर दैट वी आर यूजिंग प्रिंट एफ हेयर एंड प्रिंट एफ इज ऑल्सो अ लाइब्रेरी फंक्शन लाइब्रेरी फंक्शन okay why because the definition is already present in the studio library studio.lib okay and inside studio.h file the prototype of the printf function is written okay that is why we are including these header files because the prototype of any function is written here okay so here is the prototype here we are calling and the definition is written inside the library files this code is already compiled we don't need to compile it again and this only this amount of code we are compiling okay and linker is then combining all those library files and the object files and creating an executable files right so i hope you are getting the idea what's going on now let's try to create our own personal library file now let's say i want to create a library files with the name fact. lib okay i want to create a library file with the name fact.library okay first of all we will create a file with the name fact.c okay inside it we will write the definition of the function which we want to include in a library files okay i had used here only one function but we can also include the other functions also okay we can write the definition of prime numbers and fibonacci series and write inside this file okay fact dot c i am using only one function here just for the better explanation so we create a file with the name fact dot c inside the it i'll write the definition of all the functions which i want and note that i am not using here main function okay only the content this content is written after that in turbo c we will go to the option menu okay inside the option there will come another option of application we will click on there and then we will select library and then we will click on okay okay that means that after the compilation the file will which will be created will have the extension of dot lib or our library file will be created note that this is according to the turbo c and c++ compiler and different compiler use the different functionality or different way of doing this okay after clicking okay i will compile this file and after compiling it will give me name as fact dot lib okay a library file will be created here so the definition of our fact function in the compiled format will be written in the fact dot lib file okay so the definition is present here now we will also have to make a prototype for prototype i will create a file with the name fact dot h and inside it i will write the prototype for this function okay if you are using multiple functions here then you have to write the prototype of multiple functions here also okay so here is the prototype and here is the definition now let's see how i can use it so here let's say the name of our file normal file is abc.c then i will include our files let's say studio.h then i will include also my custom header file which is the fact.h i will write here fact.h right then void main right here let's say printf percent d and i'll call this function fact with the value let's say 5 right and that's all now after i compile this a file will be created as abc.obj which we generally don't care about much and then our linker which is a part of our entire build process of a program will link all these files okay so it will link abc.obj and also link the fact.lib file okay and other required library and object file okay it is a role of the linker to link all the library and object files and create a 
binary formatted executable file so here the name of our file is abc dot exe abc dot exe file will be generated after the linker okay so the prototype is written in fact dot h here we are calling our function and the definition are present in this library fact dot lib and everything is linked by our linker and then an executable file is created with the name abc which is the name of our current file okay so this is how we are able to create a custom library so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video